Hello everybody and welcome back to Vegas Virality. In today's video we are going to be doing our Disney vs. Pixar March Madness bracket. And so if you don't know what March Madness is, it's a college basketball tournament that basically is what the sports world talks about in March. And somebody decided to turn it into a Disney vs. Pixar thing and I kind of like it. So I think you saw this, right? You yeah. saw this and he's like, we need to do this, so let's do this. And we're going to be as unbiased as possible. We're going to try to find the true winner of this matchup. So let's start with matchup number one. So All what's right. matchup number one? It is Lion King versus Tarzan. Okay, so in the earlier matchups, we're not going to talk as much about the movies, just so we can move along, because if we do, it's going to take forever. So This one's obvious. This one's kind of obvious for both of us. Tarzan has probably one of the most amazing soundtracks in all of the Disney movies, but Lion King, hands down, is a better movie overall. Okay. And matchup number two, Princess and the Frog vs. Lilo and Stitch. Another obvious So this is another obvious one. Princess and the Frog is... I've only, I saw it once, and I don't really feel the need to watch it again. Not one of my favorites, but... S. Lilo and Stitch, my favorite Disney movie overall. Doesn't mean he's gonna win though, because he's it's a it's a cooperative thing. Okay, so next is Tangled versus Big Hero Six. Well, this one's kind of tough, because I love yeah. I love Big Hero Six, but I love Tangled too. I'm, I, I'm I just think the soundtrack because the soundtrack is cool and Tangled. So Tangled. Yeah. Big Hero Six, like this is like the hardest thing for us because we love every single one of these movies. So it's not gonna be easy for either of us to pick a winner of this. So this one's probably gonna be controversial, because I think I know which way you're leaning. I know which way I'm leaning. I think Frozen is a great movie, but I think it's overrated. I am. Mo I'm going for Moana. Yeah, I think Moana. It's like one of the most recent vi uh, movies. Fantastic movie. Great soundtrack. Great characters. Love to see a woman be the hero of the movie. Love the Rock. So I'm going towards Moana as well. Yeah. Moana has that one hands down for me. Frozen's a great movie. It's just I think it's overrated personally. Okay. And next. Another obvious movie. Aladdin and Hercules. So Aladdin versus Hercules. So, you, so what do you think? Aladdin. Aladdin is, I think Aladdin as well. Another great soundtrack versus a movie that has, you know, underrated songs, believe it or not, right? Yeah. Underrated songs, but again, Aladdin beats it. What is it? Hercules. The Little Mermaid and Pocahontas. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, The Little Mermaid Ooh, and Pocahontas. Ooh, this is a good one. I'm going for uh, The Little Mermaid because if I'm going off soundtrack, I think... The little, I mean, I know Pocahontas you, with the color of the wind or whatever yeah. it is is pretty good, but I think The Little Mermaid and Sebastian and all that are a lot cooler. I agree. I think The Little Mermaid's an overall better movie, but Pocahontas was definitely a great movie. So we're going with Little Mermaid? I the think Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid. So what do we got next? Mulan and Zootopia. Ooh. Ooh. I think Mulan wins this matchup. Yeah. Mulan. Mulan was sick. Uh, such a good movie. A whole a woman saves all of China, which in, in that age of time women weren't respected at all. So I think that's fantastic. Zootopia was a great movie about kind of it was like it had racial undertones, but I think Mulan's a better movie. Um, what's next? Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas versus Beauty and the Beast. So this is probably another controversial one. I know a lot of people love Nightmare Before Christmas. I, I don't like the way they look. I've never been a fan of the movie. I don't know what it is. I just don't like the claymation, the way it looks. I just don't like it. So Beauty and uh, the I, Beast. I don't like the cartoon Beauty and the Beast either though. So what it, I mean, in my opinion, whoever wins is just going to get eliminated. Yeah, it's like the lesser of two evils. So I think Beauty and the Beast. So just put yeah, BB. Yeah, so I'm just going to put BB. BB. So we're gonna go to Pixar. Yeah, we're gonna move to Pixar. So this is the round of 32, and the first matchup in the Pixar side is Brave versus Up. So this one's easy, easy for me. Yeah, an easy one. Easy for me. Up, great, great Pixar movie. This one's tough. This person who made this didn't want Toy oh, Story yeah. to dominate all of it. So Toy Story and Toy Story 2. I think Toy Story 2 is better. I don't know. Wait, just think about it. Which one do you think is better? I mean, is the number two with the one with the Sid kid? No, that's number one. Number two is the one with oh, Jesse. Yeah, yeah Jesse. number two, Toy Story 2 then. Yeah, so just put TS2. Two. It's tough though. Both good movies. Oh man, this one's even harder on What's series. Coco? And that... Cars 3. Cars 3? As you guys can see, Cars is my overall favorite movie. But I just think that 
That's tough. If it Coco was Coco was better though. Is I, that I Cars? Just... Are you sure it's Cars Three? Is that Cars Two? No, that's Cars Three. Oh. Even even if it was Cars, if it was Cars Two, this decision would be much or easier. Or if it's Cars One, either one, you know. It's... I think Coco wins yeah, that one. Coco. Coco was such a fantastic movie, man. Hands down. Really good movie. Unfortunate. Uh, yeah, see, look, because there's regular cars. Unfortunately, that Cars Three got. I think they just omitted Cars Two because nobody man, likes that. Apparently, the Pixar side is a lot harder than the Disney oh, side. Man. Toy Story Three versus a good dinosaur. I think Toy Story. Well, 3 obviously Toy Story Three, but I'm saying the Good Dinosaur was a really, really good. Movie. I think this is because the the way that the animation was Toy Story. I mean, Toy Story was good, but the animation and like the landscapes for Good this Dinosaur. This is my only fantastic. problem. They have Coco and Cars Three, and then they have Ratatouille and a Bug's Life together. Like Bug's Life wins that one for me. Yeah. I liked it more. Bug's Life was better. I say Bugs. Yeah, just put Bugs there. I think Bug's Life was better. Sorry, uh, Ratatouille Ooh. fans. Wait, is that Finding Nemo? Oh, this inside one's, out. This one's easy for me. Inside Out. Inside Out. I, I didn't. Inside Out. I'm I, not a teenage girl, uh, but I related to that movie so well just because it came out when I was still a teenager, so. And I didn't like it anymore. Ooh. I mean, not that I didn't like it, I just think. So we saw a bracket like this, and we saw Monsters, Inc. on the whole thing, which we don't agree with. We don't think Monsters, Inc. the best is. I think Disney. Monsters, Inc. is kind of boring. I don't, I'm not a fan. I mean, I love Monsters, Inc. Not a bigger fan. I personally think Cars wins here. Yeah, I'm going with Cars, not just because I like the movie. I'm just I think Cars wins, wins there. I think you, Cars is such, like the most, probably like the, their biggest franchise right now, like merchandise-wise. You cannot eliminate every Cars movie in the first round. Uh, another easy and, one. Yeah. I don't get, people love Wally. I mean, I, it's a good story, it's a good movie, but I find it kind of boring. Again, I personally, The Incredible is such a fantastic yeah, and, movie. And we don't want to offend anyone if Wally or whatever is your favorite yeah, movie. Yeah, so like, it's, it's, it's just, just our opinion. opinion. Yeah. Our opinion, sorry. I know there's everybody who fills out is going to have different different winners, different winners of each matchup. It's fine. Let us know your picks in below because we'd love to read them. So Incredibles for sure. Can't okay, wait for Incredibles so 2. Let's do the to round that. of 16. For Disney. For Disney, and the matchup is Lilo and Stitch and the Lion King. So, oh, this one's this one's. Oh tough. man, I, I think we should have brought a coin with us. Cause uh, I just I have more sentimental value towards Lilo and Stitch. I love the Lion King, such a good I mean, movie. What I watch, what I, okay, so let me. Just, I'm just gonna ask that question. So yeah, when it's, if it's that close, would I rather watch Lion King or Lilo and Stitch? I honestly think I would watch. It's a tough one. This is tough. Lion King's a classic. Lilo and Stitch is not so much a classic. It's just more sentimental. Yeah, I think I feel like I'd watch Lilo and Stitch just because the the characters. Yeah, the characters are better. I love Stitch. Probably and he's my favorite Disney yeah, character, so and he's I guess good. We're going with Lilo and Stitch. Uh, we're probably get a bunch of hate for that one though. <laughs> oh well. That's why it's our opinion. Yeah. Oh, one, one, one. Tangled. And Moana, this one's... Oh, this is a really, really hard one. Oh, why are you doing Because, like, both of these soundtracks are Soundtracks like, are amazing. The characters, characters are, are awesome. So, Because, uh, like, you have uh, Hey Rapunzel, Hey and the horse being yeah. the funny people. Rapunzel versus Moana. I think... I think, Flynn, I think Maui's cooler than Flynn. Flynn versus, yeah, Flynn. Uh, okay, so let's just do that three. So that's a tie. Three. That's a tie. The first one's kind of a tie. I like Moana and they're... Let's just leave that okay. one for last. Second debate is Maui versus Flynn, and I, I agree with you. I think Maui's, Maui's a better cool. character because The Rock is awesome. Yeah. And then um, hey, it's hey, 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 or the horse. Maximus, I think his name is, or something like that. Uh, I think Hey Hey was funnier. Hey Hey was funnier, but Max was cooler. Well, okay, so let's go down to this. Would we rather watch Tangled or Moana? <laughs> I, would, I would love to watch both. Uh, See, this is why we needed a coin. I'm telling you. I'm going to say Moana. Okay, we're going with Moana. Sorry, Mom, because I know you're going to be mad at this. Uh, I don't know. She loved Moana, too. Oh, that killed me because Tangled's such an underrated Disney I movie, just man. wish these weren't so close together. I know. I just, I don't know. So, what, what's... Oh, and then Aladdin, Aladdin and, and Little Mermaid. Oh, Mom, you're going to hate me for this, but Again, Aladdin... I'm sorry. I'd rather watch Aladdin. I'd rather watch movie. Aladdin all every day, all day. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> That's little, We just broke your heart twice in a row. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. This one, uh, this one's not. This one's not tough at all. This one is really easy. Mulan, hands down, one hundred percent. I'd watch it a million times before I'd watch either of those two movies once. Okay, so now uh, round of sixteen, Up versus Toy Story Two. Edit. Oh. I'm going Toy Story Two. I love Up. And it's I such, a, up, it's up such a, it's such a great movie. It's my favorite Pixar movie, but I think Toy Story Two is probably overall more popular and just better. 
Cause I we're going with Toy Story 2, I guess. That breaks my heart. Sorry, Carl, Ellie. And this one's a, another really hard one. Because they both, both of those were movies that literally I was on the edge of my seat, like about to cry at both of those movies. Mm. So, I mean, I just think that, I think Coco in my is. opinion, I think Coco's better because Toy Story is a little overrated, like you say. Yeah. It's just too out there and they've already made three. Yeah. They only made one Coco. I don't, yeah, I don't get how, how an original Pixar movie can lose to a third yeah. installment in a series. Coco is such a, so underrated, such a fantastic movie. Bugs Life or Inside Out, this is this is an easy one again. Ones. Inside Out wins. Bugs Life is a good movie. I loved watching when I was little. I we had all the the, yeah. uh, the action figures of the bugs, uh, the circus the circus ones. We just oh it's and Bugs a uh, Bugs Land is coming out of California Adventure that, that sucks. But I mean this is an, has this to is be done. another tough one. Oh Cars, no! Cars versus Incredibles. Cars versus Incredibles. Because oh. Cars is honestly, like you guys can see, is my favorite movie overall from Pixar, the first one. Mm. And I also like the third one, but I just, I, I don't know. I, I, I'd rather watch Cars over Incredibles, but I think Incredibles is a better movie overall, you know? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. You know, we have a clue. So let's do the character thing again. So who's okay. the main character in each? Okay, Incredibles. So, uh, I would just say just Incredibles say the, one. It's Mr. Incredible. Mr. Right? Incredible versus Lightning, Lightning McQueen. So Mr. Incredible's more likable. Lightning McQueen's more interesting. I would say Mr. Incredible. Mr. Incredible one's that one. And then we have Tomator versus Frozone. I guess you can say because they're both kind of funny. Mater wins. Mater wins, obviously. And then let's just go with the girls, Sally and Miss Miss uh, Elastic Girl, whatever her name Elastic is. Elastic Girl. Yeah. yeah. I like Miss. I like Elastigirl better. Yeah. And then with the rest of the gang, and then the rest of the the gang from uh, Radiator Springs. I don't know. I I like cars. I mean, I want to pick cars, but I just don't think it's as it's better than. Right, let's go with Incredibles. Sorry, cars. Oh, this is terrible. How are we eliminating movies we love? This is impossible. Whoever made this is cruel. Okay. Oh. New one. Stitch versus Moana. You're okay. killing me! So let's go with the three characters. So let's go with the thing. theme. Both Polynesian. Ty. Right? Okay. Characters again. Lilo versus Moana. <laughs> Moana. Moana. Because Lilo doesn't Stitch know. versus Maui. Stitch. Stitch. Uh, Nani versus. Nani and David versus Moana's parents. Moana's no, parents. No, 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 no. Uh, what's the name? Um, the big guy and then the yellow dude? Oh, Bubbles? Okay, let's say Bubbles and Moana's uh, grandma. Grandma. Oh, this kills me. I think Moana's a better movie. Yeah, Moana. Oh. <laughs> Moana. Also, I think the tiebreakers, Moana's soundtrack is ten times better than Lilo and Stitch's yeah. soundtrack. I know soundtrack is not really the movie, but it's part of the movie, and Disney has a knack for making hit songs in their movies. This is so tough. This one's easy for me. Aladdin and Mulan. Because Aladdin, I'd rather watch Aladdin over Mulan every day of the week. I don't know. I, I would rather watch Mulan. You would? I would rather watch Mulan. Okay, let's do the three characters, but I already know how I'm going to pick the three characters. Uh, Mulan versus... Jasmine? Would you say that's fair? No. Uh, Mulan, Mulan versus... versus um, it has to be the top characters. Aladdin? Aladdin. I would say Mulan's cooler than Okay, yeah. Uh, and, let's go with the bad guys. Jafar versus... who? What's the name? Oh, hmm... I, I forgot his name. But Jafar. Robert. Jafar, yeah, and then um, the guy. Let's let's do the Moana. dragon and um, uh, Abu. The dragon's cooler. So and then I guess we uh, got two out of three. So I'm guessing. What's the, the tiebreaker? Has to be the the guy, the the general, and uh, Jasmine, because those are like the love interests of the main characters. The general. The general of the army. You know the. Oh yeah, 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 but I, I mean, Jasmine, I'd rather watch Mulan. Jasmine has a tiger though. Mulan has such an under underrated soundtrack. I love the songs in there so much, but I, going through the characters over uh, Aladdin. And then you also have uh, what's the name? Uh, Jafar's pet. I forgot his name. Iago. Yeah, I mean, uh, you just can't beat that. <laughs> I just, I okay, Aladdin. Oh man, this is terrible. You made me eliminate Mulan. Oh, this is so bad. I hate this. 
Uh, this one's actually pretty easy for me. I think Coco wins this one hands down. Yeah, Coco. Coco wins this one hands down. Most people have sentimental uh, yeah, it's, uh, emotions towards Toy Story, but I don't. Like, it's a good movie. It's a good. It's like what made yeah. Pixar Pixar, but, but I think it's overrated overall. It's, they're great movies, but Coco was like a, it was a masterpiece overall. Like the animation, oh. the story, they brought culture into it. It was. We such have a, another uh, speed bump. Oh no! Inside Out versus Incredibles. <sighs> I'm leaning, I'm leaning inside out. And these both don't have any real soundtracks. I know. So we, soundtrack. Let's just do the characters again, because I like the characters. Cause so that's Riley? The way. Riley versus, let's just say, uh, Scar what's her name? The the girl, the teenager. Violet. Violet. So, Riley and Violet. Riley, Riley's cooler. Riley's cooler. Okay. I don't like Violet that we much. We can't say the dad, so, uh, so we can't say the dad. So let's the just parents say are... anger yeah, I'll say it versus... Mr. Incredible? No, because, I mean, I mean, yeah, I guess. Yeah, because they're... Anger. Anger's funnier, but Mr. Incredible's more... Yeah, he's... Yeah. And then now we have to find, like, an even matchup to pick. So we have either Disgust, and Joy... Okay, joy so is probably Joy the, and... And the mom. And the mom. And joy. the last girl, Joy, yeah. I think Inside Out's a better movie. It's a, yeah, I don't really care. So whatever you it's say. It's a toss-up. Because it's like literally 50 Inside 50. Out. Inside, Inside out. out. Let's go with Inside Out. Oh, man, this sucks. And Incredibles is a good movie. I know. We're like super excited. It's like we're super excited for Incredibles Okay, so we're down to the semi. I mean, not semi. Uh, yeah. Quarter final. No, it's well, semi yeah, it's a semi-final. No, it's semi-final. Semi is one, two, three, four. It's four left. And then this one, the final is oh, here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's champion. Moana versus Aladdin. <laughs> oh God. So let's go soundtrack first. I think Moana soundtrack's better. A Whole New World's by far the best song out of all of them. Oh yeah. Out of all of the songs from both soundtracks, that song's the best. But overall, I think Moana has better songs. Okay, so we have to. So that's one point. So we Moana. have to compare since they're both named by the person Aladdin and Moana. We have to compare the two Moana protagonists. And Aladdin. Mm, okay, so they're both. Kind of outcasts because she's not. She wants to be. I would say Moana. Because mm -hmm. Aladdin's cool, but he's but like also, a liar. And also, stuff like that. since it was the uh, you know like the regular matchups, and since now this is like going into like the nitty the gritty. Nitty gritty. We have to. I mean, even though it's O O P, like really really O P, we have to include the genie in this though. Oh, oh no. So I mean, like even though it'd he, be it, it's the fair comparison though because you got the genie versus. Uh, Maui, who's no, a demigod. No, 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 the genie versus uh, what's the, the, the name? crab? No, not the crab. The Taka. Taka. The the lava. Yeah, the lava person. Taka. Oh, the genie easily. Robin yeah, Williams. Yeah, I, I, that's why I didn't even want to mention him, but we have to because yeah, this is the nitty gritty, and we just have to. So characters. So, so we say genie wins and Moana wins. And then the villain. So we have to have the villain. Yeah, but the villain Which is, is Taka. technically Taka, and Taka loses that battle too. Jafar is cooler. So Moana gets the soundtrack. I think Aladdin gets overall characters. So overall which story. One, which one would you rather watch? Overall story. Which one would you rather watch? So Moana if is I, about a him. girl that wants to be wants to venture out. Okay. And she saves the world basically. If I had to choose, I'd watch Moana because I like the characters more and the songs I can actually sing to them. And I like the the away away the that song yeah, that, that song is really cool and I just I, I wanna pick Moana so <sighs> it's up to you. Whatever you decide. It just kills me. But Moana. Moana Moana. So Moana is our Disney winner. Moana is the Disney champion that was so tough. Eliminating Lilo and Stitch in the round in the quarterfinals. Oh my god, it's terrible. Okay. If, you, if you love Disney, don't do this, it's gonna break your heart. And we have Coco, Coco and in, Inside Out. Oh. In my opinion, I feel like this one's easy. Coco? I mean, let's just compare uh, soundtracks. There is not the soundtrack for uh, Inside Out's non existent. Not yeah, really no, anyway. well, okay, well, let's just skip that. Miguel versus Riley. Miguel is oh, obviously okay. way cooler. Let's compare the villains, which I guess you can uh, say is Ernesto. Is, uh, Ernesto de la Cruz and uh, what's her name? Sadness. I guess there's not really. She's a, a villain because she puts yeah, her memories away. I guess. Away. I guess there's not really a villain, but yeah, I guess you're right. Unless you have a better comparison. Ernesto's better, and he's a better of our character. 
And then... I mean, you, I guess you can per compare their parents because they both have parents. I just... I mean, I think maybe... I don't know, because they both have pretty bad parents because they don't really let their kids do what they want. I mean. know, it sucks. This is tough. So, okay, let's compare uh, sad moments in the movie. Because Riley has a sad moment when she wants to, to leave. She runs away. She runs away, and then when Miguel can't play you know, his music, even though he wants to. <sighs> this sucks. I think overall the story for Coco is better. Yeah, me too. I think this... And I, I, I mean, I relate to Riley, but I feel like I relate more to Miguel, you know? Yeah, because I just like the theme of... Riley, it's about a, um, like a kid going through changes yeah. inside and outside, and I think the theme of Coco is more family-oriented. Yeah. It's more oriented on, like, honoring your family, and nothing's more important than family, and supporting your family is, like, the best thing you can do. I think Coco overall is yeah. a better message, a uh, better soundtrack, better characters overall, and a better message. So, wow, this is a clash of heavyweights. Oh, man. Let, okay, so <laughs> this is like, okay, let's literally do the beginning. Soundtracks, I'd say... 50 -50. Oh! I'd say that one's even. That's split. Because, I mean... You make me loco. Yeah. <laughs> All of Moana songs are good, and every single song in Coco was good, so... Oh, okay. I'd say a tie there, but we have to come up with the winner. Characters. So again, main characters. Again, main characters. You can't go off of what this movie's named off of because no, the grandma, yeah, the grandma is not cool. So let's say, let's Miguel. give uh, the, a girl. Okay, no, here's a perfect one. I guess I mean we can ha add that in as a tiebreaker if we want. We could add uh, Miguel's grandma Coco and then Moana's grandma because oh. technically they're both grandmas. So yeah. I like Moana's grandma better. Well, yeah, Moana's gr grandma's cooler. And then Moana versus Miguel. Moana versus Miguel, I feel like Miguel's cooler because they both set on a journey, but I like Miguel's journey more than uh, Moana's. I just like the... I think you're right there, too. So uh, it's one and one, one right one. now. So now we have to add either... The villain. Hector and... Who's the... Oh, Hector or Maui. Or Nesto de la Cruz and uh, Teca. Tamatoa. Tamatoa. Because that's uh, Nesto de, too uh, overpowered. I think or Nesto de la Cruz is better than Teca. Teca. Okay, and then what about the other one? Then. Oh, oh no, no, here I have another one. Dante and Hey Hey. Dante and Hey Hey. So they both save the mission pretty much. They both do that, but I think uh, Dante has has more significance because he actually saves, um, what's his name, Diego? No, Miguel. Miguel's life. He actually saves his life, and I don't think Hey Hey ever saves Moana's life. Yeah, I think say. he uh, mostly messed up Moana. Yeah, he accidentally helps, and then yeah. Dante knows what he's doing. He's literally Miguel's spirit guide, so I think Dante wins that matchup. This so is I tough. think we're tied two two. Yeah. <laughs> so what other characters are there that we could... Okay, I think the characters is also a tie. I think what's going to come down to it is the overall story of the movie. And wh which one would you And which watch? one you either felt better after watching in the movie theater, or which one would you rather watch again, even though we both... Okay, so literally, so, so, I would so watch so both. We can't be back even, back. Three, even two and two. Let's add the sadness, because the sadness has to be one. Yeah. The sadness... Which movie would you rather watch and what did you say? Oh, uh, you said something. The sadness and then the overall message. The yeah, so says. the overall message. Okay, let's start with the overall message. Okay, so you're a girl, you know, they don't really take you seriously, and you basically want to do something that no one else wants to do. That no one believes in you. Yeah, no one believes you in you, can't basically. Do it, yeah. And you do it and you prove them wrong. So that's a good Coco message. is the same thing. They don't let you do play music, they don't let Miguel play music. He did it anyway, and he showed them he could play music and ended up saving their family, technically. Yeah. Oh, Not their real-life family, but... So we're, get, we're again tied. Tied with the overall, overall message. Meeting. That's why we it's did It's the three. same exact thing. So we have two more. Well, I guess they can tie And they're me. both... And literally, they're both honoring your ancestors, because literally, Day of the Dead is honoring your ancestors. And Moana's ancestors are what led her to be who she is. She's a voyager, and so were her ancestors, so this is tough. So, what was the, the other one? The sadness. Sadness. So, the saddest part in Coco... Okay, so, Moana... What's the saddest I part I didn't feel like crying at all. 
Moana, I'd say the saddest part is was, when her grandma passes away. I don't think I, I found it sad, but I think the thing about that scene is it gave me chills more than anything. Yeah, I, I felt like inspired. The music than... the music hit its height, its peak, and then you saw the the the, the, the ray from her grandma like coming out of the water and just boom. I, I was I, like I, th I felt more inspired. Yeah, I know, sad. I know. And Coco, it's Pixar. I was so, about to cry. So it has to rip your heart out. So what do you think was the saddest part in Coco? Coco was uh, thinking that Hector was gonna like die, basically. Mm. Oh, man, this is so tough. I don't know what's because like when Miguel sing to to uh, Mama Coco and he's crying, it's just like I, I felt like crying. Honestly. Yeah, and then and, and then Moana, he, I didn't feel like crying. And then you see Miguel with her his little sister, or his little sister. Yeah, and then, and then they put the grandma comes and they put Coco's picture on there. Oh my lord. And I then at the end too, they freak, he's singing the song. It's a great yeah. song, and then they're all dancing together, and they're all a family again. Oh, this is so tough. Oh, I think Coco. Wins I think Coco that. wins overall. That's my pick. I'm just gonna go with it. I'm gonna say yeah. Coco wins. I say it too. Coco is our champion. So there you go, guys. It has been done. Coco is the champion. Give us all the hate in the comments that you will. I'm sure it'll come because there's fans of all, all these movies. So let's just do a quick recap. Lion King vs. Lilo and Stitch. Lilo and Stitch won. Tangled vs. Moana. Moana won. Aladdin vs. Little Mermaid. Aladdin won. Mulan vs. Utopia. Mulan won. And then Beauty and the Beast vs. Nightmare Before Christmas. That was the easiest and one to pick. I don't, like, I don't really like either of those movies. And then I'm just going to do the whole Disney side and you do the Pixar yeah. side. And then so we had Lilo and Stitch vs. Moana. Moana won. Moana. Aladdin vs. Mulan. Tough choice. That was tough. Aladdin, and then Moana won basically the Disney side. Yeah. Um, then on the Pixar side, we had Up versus Toy Story 2. I mean, Up versus Brave, my bad. Up beat Brave pretty easily. The first round on both sides are really easy. Toy Story 2 beat Toy Story. Coco beat Cars 3. Toy Story 3 beat The Good Dinosaur. Ratatouille lost to A Bug's Life. Finding Nemo lost to Inside Out. Monsters Inc. lost to Cars. And then The Incredibles lost, oh no, they did not lose, The Incredibles beat Wally, and The Incredibles went on to lose to Inside Out. Coco would go on to win against Toy Story 2, Coco would come, would prevail against Inside Out, and then Coco would prevail against Moana. So, so our overall is Coco. Coco, fantastic movie. Um, I mean, either either way, like, so you, you can choose any other one you want but i think at the end it's always going to be moana versus coco because like i don't know you can mix these up everybody and randomize yeah everybody and everybody has their own preferences i'm sure we're going to get a bunch of comments saying coco was a great it was a bad movie which if you say that you're going to lose all merit with me because it was a fantastic movie yeah um people who say that are probably like old disney fans of like the lion king stuff like that which we love it's just we picked our best movie. It's not necessarily your best movie, so let us know what you think and what movie you think should have won this, and let us know what, who would have won your matchups. We're interested to hear. It'll be a good debate to have in the comment section down below. So you have anything else you want to say? Nope. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't hate us too bad. It killed us to make these picks. Um, so, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.